advisory in place for us that goes from now until Tuesday at noon and possibly even extended a little bit more, maybe one, two o'clock for a few locations uh, a little bit farther south and east. So, yes, we are impacted right here at home. I do have some good news off the top. The snowfall that became consistent starting yesterday evening has now faded, just trying to exit away from home with a few flakes left over. So, hopefully, that helps out your morning commute. I can't help you with temperatures much other than just preparing you for them. Look at all those different wind chill advisories and warnings in place. It's all from this high, as you can see, funneling in below average temperatures. There's the front that caused the problem uh, yesterday with the snow, now continuing to move east. Morning readings in the single digits for us. Again, your wind chill advisory goes until noon on Tuesday for wind chills as bad as 5 to 20 below. Winds not helping us either. 20 mile per hour winds for Cleveland, 22 in Elyria, 25 in Worcester. So not only do we have to get into our car and warm it up, you've got to watch for those car doors. They like to swing open real fast on winds like this, and you don't want to hit the car next to you. That's not a good start to a week, right? Just make sure you're bundling up as well. 16 below for what it feels like in Cleveland. The coldest here in Lorain County, 18 below in Elyria. Pretty close though. Mansfield at 12 below. Same story for us in Akron to 12 below in Ashtabula, 3 below in New Philadelphia. Planning out your day hour by hour, looking at temperatures, staying in the single digits. That's your daytime high. We should be in the mid and upper 30s this time of the year. So quite a drop off from what's typical and cooler than what we had over the weekend as well. So here we go, sitting near zero through about 10 a.m. Then we're going to put a positive back in front of the number. Some beautiful sunshine for you here today too, but a high of only four degrees with at least a dry forecast of that sun trying to help us out. But we're going to bring back that snowfall Tuesday night. I want to show you staying pretty quiet. Here we go with just a few extra clouds. By the time we get into the afternoon, your snow chance starts to push in late on Tuesday, really more so by Wednesday morning. And even at that, it's not so impressive. We probably have big enough piles in our yards as it is. Yesterday's snowfall was about an inch to two inches at the very most. This next push looks to be at less than an inch. That sounds like a little bit more <laughs> music to our ears. Here you go. Your Power of Five seven day forecast showing temperatures. Whoa, this is off. No, not 33 today. Actually, it's four. <laughs> I guess my graphic didn't want to update. I'll have to I change I like what that your graphic you. says better. I like it too.